Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is self-servicing business intelligence. This is uh, a most uh, often asked question because what is business intelligence and what do you mean by self? What is the typical difference? Let me take an example of a restaurant. There will be a kind of restaurant where you go and uh, sit in your table and um, the waiter or uh, waiter comes and um, he take order and he serves then you pay the bill right this is one kind of restaurant there is another kind of restaurant or quick fiasc where you go and do the order and once the food is ready then you take the food and you eat it yourself and you clean something and you put it in a basket this is a self-servicing kiosk right so the same concept applicable in business intelligence that's what we are going to say today if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification let's try to understand its definition what do you mean by self-servicing business intelligence it is an approach to data analytics that enables business users to access and explore data sets even if they don't have background in BI or database or any knowledge on data. Basically like uh, you make business users or business uh, different departments in your organizations to create the reports on themselves not relying on the IT department. That is the core concept behind self-servicing business intelligence. So traditional BI relied on IT departments to create data analysis process for business goals. Basically like uh, if you are not so familiar with uh, organization structure, IT department is responsible for organizing all the data reports or managing the data. So the, those are called the technical people, right? So they create database, they create, uh, they bring the data into data warehouse and create models and create reports for the user. And the business users, just as a viewer, they will see the report, they will navigate, or uh, they will click the report. As a user, they are only, only a part of a user, right? That is the traditional BI. In self-servicing BI, you create a model and give it to the business users. They drag and drop the things and they explore different possibilities. That is what a self-servicing business intelligence is. So in self-servicing BI, focuses on supporting end users that is business users allowing business users and analysts to be more involved in their own data analysis so you give him them the choice of creating their own reports that is what a self-servicing business intelligence is there is nothing new concept behind that you implement a business intelligence solution and business users will create the reports on their own Right? That is what a self-servicing business intelligence is. Uh, but you may ask me like now the IT teams are involved or not. It depends upon what kind of organization you work for. Like most of the time IT teams instead focuses on the data and ingestion part. Right? They bring the data into data warehouse, they create the models or data governance they will be focusing on. And you are, you are the business analyst or business users can expertise and dig deep into a data mining or modeling projects rather than as, um, answering the ad hoc reporting request. So this is what uh, typical self-servicing BI is and if you are not still convinced I'm going to demonstrate with some uh, architecture uh, examples so that it will clearly clarify you. If you are uh, fine with this, you can stop this video and you can uh, exit this video. But if you still want to know, continue along with me. So conventional business intelligence system, I'm saying about a decade uh, around 2000 or 2005 itself, this BI system exists. What do you mean by business intelligence? You explore the data and identify the insights and to take the correct decisions right that is the business intelligence how it is implemented you have uh, data sources OLTP system you create the data warehouse you create the modeling then there is no reporting tool like modern tools like power bi or tableau tableau was started earlier around 2005 or 2010 okay but earlier even in 1995 or 2000 itself 
people used um, this data exploration or data analytics or business intelligence how they followed this is the way like they need to build a data warehouse like star schema very important and they need to do the aggregation pre-aggregated data that is cubes then they consume in excel they created their own dot net application or any web application java application then they consume the data for reporting this is the cycle they followed you see all these things involves some kind of technical people it people more involved here for database management you need devel sql developers it can be oracle or sql server till this point you need a database for front end development you need some dot net developers web application developers or java developers to consume the data if they don't want to invest in this they convince with excel itself so this is how they did the reports and more it involved here now self servicing business intelligence now you see like in power bi either people can stop here the it work involved the it work still involved in self servicing bi till this point right and now what happens like people also create i mean here if you are not developing the technical people are not developing power bi reports let that power bi our business users whoever the uh, decision makers develop these power bi reports on their own then it is called a self servicing bi but it is not happening most of the cases what happens in the all the typical it environment is like each and everything they expect it developer or technical people to do that is what happening so they don't have a business knowledge so th this what kind of analysis they need to make they are not so familiar okay that is a different part of story that is a topic for another day but what i am trying to say here is like till this spot it people more involved and most of the organizations the power bi reports creation everything again it people will do only the business users can do only is just view the report or access the reports but what is self servicing bi let business users to create the reports on their own that is what a self servicing bi is most of the case it is not happening that is a worrying factor now you can see how power bi and tableau every uh, standard tools are projecting they eliminate all these parts data preparation using power query semantic layer using modeling part and authoring using services everything right all these layers are combined into a single tool this is what a power bi and tableau or clicksense are called as self servicing business intelligence tools without need of it you can do all this part right so this is what uh, people claim but most of the time it is not happening mostly these reports are still created by it people it, the actual self servicing bi is not happening so that is what i want to make a note here so to simply conclude self servicing bi is nothing but the uh, its ability to allow business users to create the reports on their own and for that the data management should be handled by the it team this is what a simple note if you are not so clear just mention in the comments what is your thoughts about this and if you have any other comments do mention it if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries do remember that data is your asset